What's going on? This is DeVore. You are tuning in to the Morning Commute Not For Debate podcast. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Not For Debate. This is great one, DeVore. Uh, we're back here another two days in a row. I got Banks here. Wes had the day off yesterday. He's back up on the chat. And also we have a special guest. We like to call him hurts what's going on fellas hey what's Yo, up what's up what's going on everything good everything good. hey wes wes what's up i do got a question before we actually before i hop on the hurts real fast um how was the birthday man man the birthday was lit the best birthday i had in a while um we had fun, bro. Know, hold on, before before you continue, I know this is about to get a little. This this it sounds like this conversation is gonna take a turn for the worse before it get freaky. I just want to make sure that we, we live right now and, and keep it keep it keep it PG. Nah, that's real. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say I have fun. I'm leaving that up. I was looking for at least a little bit of detail, you know. Like, Yo, it involved it involved a midget who I will not name, a belt. <laughs> yeah, They're called right. little people. That's the appropriate term you use. They're little people. Yeah, midget. Wow. Just use your imagination, bro. I don't even want to think about it. It was fun, though, man. I had a good time. I'm ready to get back to work. All right, that's what I like to hear. Now, our special guest, Hertz. What's going on with you, man? I I, I feel like I, I singled you out there. I'm good. I'm good. I'm I'm fine with being singled out as well. You know, I'm good. Okay. Uh, for the people at home, we are all interested to know, like, what what, what kind of sports you actually into, man. I would like to sound very versatile. I mean, I'm 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 versatile when it comes to sports, man. Uh, but uh, when it comes to football and basketball, I think I'm, I'm I think I'm second to none. You know, I say I'm second to none. So uh, okay, so you in you in the right place then. Right. I'm gonna have to you know humble you out real quick, and I'm pretty sure Banks ain't gonna let that slide either. Uh, I guess it, I guess it sounds good, but uh, I don't think it'll be. <laughs> <laughs> um, so so what NFL team do you root for? Let me ask you that. This is how I, this is how I'm going to really get a good idea of where I stand with you beat on the podcast. I don't think I root, root for certain teams now, man. I root for players now. I mean, this league has changed so much over the years, man. You, you don't, you know, those teams change yearly. So uh, your team changed every single year. You, you, I mean, you could root for uh, this particular team one year. It's a totally different team the next year. So players, you know, players, players move around constantly. And your team could be up this year and be, I mean, they could be in the playoffs one year and two and you know, two and fourteen the next year. So, you know, compared, right. to, compared to back in the day when you did root for a team, your your team stuck together six, seven, eight, nine years. You know, I feel you. You know, so, every, so you know, it, currently, it, right it, now, it, who is it, your it, favorite it, it, NFL it player? On how I'm feeling, man. Right. It depends on who's playing. So, who are you rooting for right now? At this point, uh. uh I'm a dog hard cane, man. And there's a lot of canes over there on Cleveland right now, man. There's a lot of canes over there, man. So I'm kinda I am I'm really kinda pulling for Cleveland Cleveland this year. There's Miami Hurricanes. Okay. I can I can respect that. I can respect that. So you in that Miami family with with me over here. So on my personal channel, you you fit right in. We we cool then. We cool. Except for that co that comment you made Trash. about Kirk Cousins off air, but we are gonna get into that. <laughs> Trash. Yeah, I was cool, man. I, I don't even know who, man. I'm good. <laughs> Trash. All right, so and it gotta be we got the old. Yeah, that, 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 that got to be basic. You know, you know, so it, it's so funny. It's so funny when you know you trash. You can just, you know, you just, you can't help it. You know, you can't help it. 
<laughs> right. So we got the approval from downstairs that today we're going to have a special going on where we have this the, this ongoing debate. Like I feel like it's been discussed debate, in the last. This, this it's is, not a debate. A, no, no, it's, it's a debate. <laughs> Let me just go it's, ahead a, and it's say a debate. It's a debate. We we got we got Hertz in here <laughs> for some extra firepower. <laughs> you already know I bring the nuke, but but Hertz coming in here bringing a bringing an alien gun. And you already know where West stand that. So. It, it, it's it, you. You outnumbered it's right now, baby. You, you out three to one. You guys <laughs> got the floor. You guys got the floor. So since since you're the special guest, hurts. I'm right. gonna go ahead and let you do the honors of letting us know who you think is the goat. Wait, wait, wait. What's the conversation though? No, no, no. It's not just the goat. The conversation <laughs> is all right. Let's just be clear here. The conversation We're is listening. who was the better player, Tom Brady who? or Peyton Manning, right? Oh, you, so you want the better player. So how do we go from Wait. GOAT to better player? Well, we already discussed the GOAT, but if we want Hurts to chime in and, and give his opinion on the GOAT, he can. But I thought the conversation was going to be about Tom Brady and Peyton Manning. Okay. We, 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 we can make it. argument. I mean, heard a group chat. I mean, but if y'all want to take it, though, we can. You know, regardless, I'm, gonna, I'm I'm putting I'm putting Peyton Manning ahead of the Tom Brady anyway. That's sad that you even but, think that. No, no, no. You that's your boy. Six championships and all that. Like he ain't never had a defense and a hell of a coach. Oh, okay. <laughs> You know I'm gonna kill that whole argument. Go I'm gonna kill that argument. That's what. Cause, cause nah, Tom nah, go always won. Listen, listen, it's three to made, one. They made rules for Tom Brady. They got caught cheating. Ain't nobody get punished. Like it's it's too much for his legacy to be just spotless clean and you to be calling that man the goat. It's just right. too much. Bro. That's fighting words right there. That is just ridiculous. Anyway, hurts. That what, makes me throw up what, in my mouth when I hear what, you say what, some. So, I was about to say the S word, almost curse. I know, man. Yeah, let's, so, let's, so, let's so, so wait a minute. So wait a minute. Nah. So wait a minute. Before, before we go, to, before we go to Hurts. So, wasn't Tom Brady the same guy that went up against the NFL? It took it all the way to the Supreme Court. Correct. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, so he was so he was a good boy his whole career. Then that's y'all probably I'm, I'm predicating on him of being a good boy. Well, what there the have point been of the other is, is, It has nothing to do with his legacy as a player on the field. Nothing. He has Why nothing doesn't to it? Do. He wait, wait, time out, time out. You guys are upset and angry at Tom Brady specifically, yes. as if Tom Brady was the reason why the referees made the call in the tuck rule. Or what you mean? He, 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 he is the reason. What are you talking did, about, did he, Tom Brady? Did he dropped Tom back. Brady he got ready to throw the ball, the ball right? <laughs> did Tom Brady blow the? Did Tom Brady blow the whistle, or did the referee blow the whistle? The whistle was blown for him. <laughs> right. It could happen either way. It's just like it's just like the Rams. It's just like the Rams. Okay, but it didn't. Want to sex last year? Exactly, but it didn't. I don't know why people still bring that up. We I, we all know that was pass interference last year with the, with the, with the Saints and the Rams. We know that was pass interference. Even me as a Rams fan. And we know I that was a sack. And we know that was right. Yeah. Right, but what are you going to do about it? Nothing. The, 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 the fact of the matter is, every year since that year, this man has been consistently the best quarterback every single year, year in and year out. He gets looked over and overshadowed by small, bigger people with little results, i.e. Peyton Manning. Oh, greatest regular season, greatest regular season quarterback ever. The greatest regular season quarterback ever. When it comes to playoff time, it doesn't translate to success. His brother has more success than him. I'm glad you said that. I'm so glad you said that. I'm so glad you said His that. His brother <laughs> has more success than him in the playoffs. He's going to kill that has right more now. success than Peyton. I'm so glad you said when they get to the playoffs. Okay, here we go. I don't know if you noticed, but when you get to the playoffs, man, you you're you're playing better teams. T 
teams in the playoffs. When I say t- our entire team, you're playing better teams in the playoffs. Okay, the better team teams. most likely going to win the Super Bowl. The better team is going to win. All right. All right. So your argument there is pretty much diminished because this man has constantly been on the best team from the time he he, he, took, he took over. Okay, listen. His first Super Bowl, right? Okay, he, he won what six? Supposedly, oh no, you know y'all fans say he won six Super Bowls, right? Mm. His first mm-hmm. Super Bowl, he threw for a hundred and forty-five yards. A hundred and forty-five yards in the Super Bowl and won. Why? Because he had a better team. All right, All right. Then you have another Super Bowl where they handed him the Super Bowl. Okay, a couple of them. He was handed three Super Bowls. The one you're talking about with the tuck rule. They they handed him that one. The Falcons handed him a Super Bowl. They down, they did up 20, 25 points. And handed wait, him a Super Bowl. Wait, 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 wait. Seattle Seahawks. The, the, the Seattle Seahawks handed him instead of running the damn ball, they threw the ball and handed him another Super Bowl. But this man been handed that's three. Tom that's Brady. three Super Bowls. What does that Brady. have to do with Tom Brady? Because you said he the GOAT. I'm, te- I'm telling you, listen, this is what I'm saying. Because the bet his team, listen, his team, he's always been on a, always been on a great team. All the way around, he had, a, he had a better coach. He had better coaching. His uh, his defense was stellar every single year. His defense. Think about it. The Patriots have always been in the, between the top ten, top ten, uh, top ten, top fifteen defense anytime they won Super Bowl. Anytime they've always been top defense. Peyton Manning has never ever had a top ten or top fifteen defense. Ever. It sounds like y'all knocking Tom Brady for do, the defense doing what they're no. supposed to do. No. I, I don't now, understand hold, that. I, I, I'm going to finish this. I don't understand that. The only time, but you're taking away from Peyton Manning and Aaron Rodgers, who don't have a defense like Tom Brady. And you giving Tom Brady okay. all the credit in the world. Right now, if you put Aaron Rodgers, you put Drew I'm not B. I'm giving Tom Brady all the credit in the world, but at the end of the day, what you say he the go? How is he the go? Uh, if you saying that, here's the go. Here's the go. Here's the go. Here's why he's the go. 28-3 down to the Atlanta Falcons. Everybody and their mama was cracking jokes. Everybody was on social media down where legend this, legend that. And what did he do? What did he do? He, he didn't play defense. Broke the he didn't play defense. No, 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 no. I, 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 oh, okay. Okay, so now you're going to keep throwing it's that back co- up in his face. It's the coach. The, not playing defense. All they got to do is, run, all they do is run the ball. If they run the ball, if they just run the ball, the game is over. All right, man. It doesn't man. matter. Listen, <clears throat> what you mean you it doesn't play matter? Tom Brady for that? The Patriots defense stepped up in the second half, played great defense. Okay, there you go Brady again. Even better as a player. There you go again. He played the even better as a player. Super Bowl record. Super Bowl record for passing yards in the game. Super Bowl record. Almost Which one is this? The, is this the Falcons Super the Bowl or the Eagles Super Bowl that he has the record? It, no, he broke. He definitely the won the Eagles the Super Falcons, Bowl, and then he broke it the next the next Super Bowl against the Eagles. He broke it the next the next. But Super who Bowl. won the game? The record in Atlanta, but, and then. But who won the game? Right. The Eagles won the game. That doesn't matter. Why Eagles, is that? Oh, okay, now it doesn't did, matter. What, now it doesn't what, matter. No, no. But the Eagles, the Eagles did what what a lot of other teams couldn't do. The Eagles found a, bl- a blueprint. And they went in there and they executed. And did you hear Tom Brady go off and complain and, and, and mope and cry and complain like everybody else do? It's funny how when, when the Patriots lose, everybody wants to relish in their success of Tom Brady. And, and, and Tom Brady wasn't even the reason they lost that game. Tom Brady played phenomenal in that game. It's just the defense. The I have yet to hear criticize Tom great. Brady on anything. Because he he's perfect. What has he done wrong in the playoffs? Right. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. I'm, okay, I'm done. I'm, I'm done. You said the man perfect. perfect. Listen, how? He's I perfect. felt like I felt like in that conference championship game where Tom Brady played the the Denver Broncos, he didn't, he didn't play a good the, game. The worst, the worst, the worst playoff game. He threw, game, the he worst threw an interception last year. Play was last he, year. He the threw Rams. A, right. He threw. So how, how was he, he perfect? He threw an interception over there. But we didn't, we didn't we didn't finish him off. But you we didn't finish him off. Our defense, our, our offense laid down that game. So I'm not going to blame Tom Brady for that. I'm going to blame our offense for not putting up points to, to, to end the game. Well, you just you just said you just said he was perfect though. <laughs> Still is perfect. 
If he threw an interception, dude, they, they, if it wasn't for, like, if, like I said, somebody, there was a penalty, uh, whatever the case may be, some penalty, whatever, he threw an interception, and they gave the ball back to them. So, I mean, how's he perfect? He threw an interceptions. Listen, let me just let me just say this real quick. Let me just let me just say this real quick. This is Tom Brady's. Let me get the stats out the way. Tom Brady's performance as a player in the in a Super Bowl. I already know. I already know those stats. I know those stats, sir. Listen, sorry, sorry, sorry. the last four Super Bowls he was in Seattle. Uh, Three hundred twenty-eight yards passing, four touchdowns, two interceptions. Atlanta. Two touchdowns, 468, 466 yards passing, and an interception. The Eagles, 505 yards passing, three touchdowns, no picks. The Rams, 262 uh, yards passing, no touchdowns, one interception. This man has 18, he has 18 touchdowns in the Super Bowl and only six interceptions. Okay, so let me 95.6, 95.6 quarterback rating. He's averaging 65% passing in the Super Bowl. Listen, let me tell you something about Tom Brady. In the Super Bowl. I don't know if you know this about I don't know he if you even know this about Tom Brady. First I, off, he I, got I, he got outside of to the Super Bowl almost every year. You got right. you got eight you got games what? that are he, given to him. Every single year. For about oh, 15 God, years. Dog. 15 years he got killing me with this giving me this stuff, bro. Y'all killing me with that, bro. Y'all Ooh, like the you, NFL bro. is personally walking out there saying, here you go Tom Brady. Here's the game. You know, man, ever since, ever, ever since 9-11, man, it's like, serious talk, man. Ever since 9-11, there's been a sufficient stuff going with the Patriots. But in the long story short, that's, that, that's not even talk about that, okay? I agree with the 9-11 huh? thing. I'm with you on that part. I definitely agree with you. Uh, the 9-11 thing, this, I feel like that whole – I agree with you on that part. I'm down with you on that. I agree. I, that part, yeah, I agree. But everything else, I don't agree with y'all on. The 9-11 part, I ain't feeling it. Well, I'm feeling the 9-11 part, but everything else, I'm not feeling it. Aaron well, Rodgers this, came in. Go ahead. Okay, if you put Aaron Rodgers, Drew Brees on the Patriots the, the, the last fifteen years, you don't think they have just as many Super Bowls? No, I don't. I think they have more. Really, they have more, dude. I Seriously, think, no, I, I don't think they have more. No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't think so at all. You heard him say. I you I heard see, what he said today on the podcast. He said, "I don't see any <laughs> he go start a franchise with Tom Brady." I don't see any of, yeah, I would. Why wouldn't I? Want, why wouldn't I start the, the franchise with Captain America? Tom Brady is Captain America. Without without Belichick, he, you don't he, have Belichick. And I'm gonna tell you okay. something else about how much. T- how much are y'all gonna take from Tom Brady? First I'm gonna take the, the, the defense. Then it was the NFL giving them games. Then now it's Bill Belichick. Then it's this. Then it's that. I, I don't get. It. Tell me what happened the year he had Randy Moss. What I, that's, that's exactly what I'm about to get to. Good. That, no, no, Good. That's, this is what we're about to get to. Exactly Good. Go I'm ahead. Go ahead. Get to. Yep. That, 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 yep. I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. Because listen, <laughs> outside of that, that year right there, outside of that, 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 that year, what was it, 07 or whatever it was? That's right. 07. 07, right? Outside of that particular year, this man don't throw the ball past seven, eight yards, man. This man dink and dunk down the field. He just, he just methodically pick you apart. You know what I'm saying? That's all he does. The ball don't go past eight, nine, ten yards. A pass. It's just he just quick slants. It's it's, it's the slot receivers. He just he just on th- he's good on third downs. He just beats on third downs, man. He don't throw the ball deep. He's not throwing. The, he's not throwing deep outs. He's not throwing deep slants. He's not throwing balls outside of that one year or most. <laughs> Yeah, but his, when has he had a vertical threat that can allow him to stretch the ball? He like had that. plenty of vertical threats. No, seriously. He, he, when he, he had, he, what was his vertical threat? That the last vertical oh. threat he had was what? Uh, was was Troy Brown? <laughs> well, oh, come on, <laughs> come on, man, come Deion on. Dion Branch. Like, are you serious? He, wait, wait. I mean, he played with Dante Starworth too. Starworth, yeah, he okay. had some sad Starworth, dudes out there, Starworth, man. Starworth was trash. Starworth was trash. He didn't there trust you go, me take, well at the New away from somebody. You know what? You do the same thing the commentators He was do. trash. Yeah. Yeah. He no, was no, trash. Listen, Dante listen Starworth's me. career. Let's look at his stats in the New England Patriots. He was garbage. It's, listen, this is how I know you just as biased as them dudes who, who love Tom Brady on ESPN so much. You taking away from Dante Starworth to say Tom Brady is perfect. Right. Okay. Come Dante on, Starworth did it. You had like Dante Starworth was an all pro in the pay, with the Patriots. What did he do? Give me his numbers. Give me his numbers. That's the 
numbers. Because well, why, why, why you why you bring those numbers up, why Banks? We, I got a question for you. Dante Starworth up anyway. Dante Starworth was up. I got a question for you. You said the man they had. I got a question. He did not. If if we was to sit back and compare historical offensive seasons. Between the 2007 New England Patriots offense and the 2013 Denver Broncos offense, who had the better receivers? I'm sorry, say that again? If you was to compare the 2007 New England Patriots offense and the 2013 Denver Broncos offense, who had the better personnel? The the Broncos had the better personnel that year. That's bull job. You had your Tom Brady has here's, here's the best, one of the best receivers here's, of all time on his team. Here's here's why I'm going to give it to the Broncos. Here's the reason why I'm going to give it to the Broncos. The reason why I'm going to give it to the Broncos is simply because the Broncos had a better running game than the Patriots had. The Patriots didn't run the ball that year. They didn't run the ball. They blew you out by passing the ball. They was methodically go down the field every single down. And if their way of running the ball was through screen passes, and if you bait on, if you got bit on the on the screen pass, you got hit deep by Moss. D- am I right or am I wrong? And this is before they got Gronkowski. They didn't even have Gronkowski at the time. It doesn't matter. They only had they only had him beat Think by about two Look at the names. Look at the names that Tom Brady has singly, has single handedly made into. Made into players. what? Pro, oh. All pro players. I'm a, oh, I'm gonna I'm go way back on you. Julian uh, Edelman, Wes Welker, Troy Brown, and what they call the ball? Randy at? Moss. They caught the ball within ten yards. It don't that's matter. That's what I'm it trying to matter. tell they him, man. All pros. They it's became the system. all Listen, pros when this, they got in the office. With this him. man, they this came all man, pros. master the system. This man, this man mastered like a West Coast system. The same. Listen, the same thing Joe Montana did. Joe Montana would. Throw, throw quick slants and posts all day, man. It's like it was a system that was built that they understood the system. And on top of that, they had great defenses, man. The defenses kept them. Listen, one thing about the Patriots, they do not beat themselves. And when you when you don't beat yourself, you are always in the game. And that's and, and, and that's the main thing with the Patriots. They do not beat themselves, so therefore they're always in the game. They always got a chance. No matter what, oh, the they gonna have a team. By the way, Dante Dante Starworth, career two years in the New England Patriots, four forty seven catches, seven hundred and sixty yards, four touchdowns. Yeah, right. Give me somebody else, please. So that's not a. a Give me that's it, that's uh, that's that's offense? his career with the Patriots. That's not yeah. That's his career with the Patriots. That's that's nothing. He didn't even have a thousand yards in two years. Yeah, so give me Deion, somebody else. Throw me somebody else. Deion Troy Brown, Brown was go, better than that. No, go to Deion okay, Brown. I, give, I gave you. No, but, I, I yeah, gave but, you see, Deion but see, okay, well, see, okay, see, but what you missing with Dante Starworth was all they were doing was just sending him deep, man. He, 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 he all he was was just a decoy. He was so fast, you sent him deep. He was just, he was just, he was just, he was just running nine routes, man. Yeah. Well, all I'm saying is. Look at the year that Brandon Cooks had with 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 Tom Brady. Brandon Cooks came to the Patriots for those two years. All pro. He was all pro with New Orleans Saints anyway. But he got even better when he came to New England because they used him to his better his best of his abilities. Tom back to Brady back to back to coaching Daniels. Right. Josh, back to Josh having, Josh having Daniels, Josh, having, They figured out a way to use him to his, his best abilities. That's one thing that I love about Tom Brady that compared to any other player out there. It doesn't matter who you put on the field for Tom Brady. It does not matter. The man finds a way to make those small guys great players. Point blank, period. And for, for, for I would go to war for Tom Brady before I go to war with any quarterback in the NFL. Just me personally. Because I know I can trust this guy. He's going to lead me. I don't. I want to have a, a fear or a doubt that Tom Brady is going to go down the field and throw an interception. Remember that interception that uh, Tom Brady had through the Robert Alford in the Atlanta Falcons Super Bowl, the one he dove at, and everybody made a meme out of it? And then what ended up happening? I came back and won the Super Bowl. Everybody made a meme out of that. Oh, Tom Brady diving as Robert Alford going down the end zone, the other way running down the end zone. For a touchdown on the pick six. Oh, Tom Brady's done. Tom Brady's done. That's it. That's the end of a legacy. He ain't to go. He ain't to go. He ain't to go. And then came out and set a record. Then the following, Tom Brady's done again. Well, the guys, he's, he's just, he, he can't do it. He can't do it. 
all yeah. last year. Tom can Brady make- can't do it. Patrick Mahomes, I heard it all last year. I heard Pittsburgh was going to beat him. Didn't happen. I heard Kansas City was going to beat him. Didn't happen. I heard the Chargers was going to beat him. Didn't happen. I heard the Rams was going to beat him. Didn't happen. What else y'all want? What else I y'all think want to prove to y'all? That's the point I'm making. I think, for, I'm think, you, listen to the, I think you listen to the NFL Network too much. <laughs> no, I don't. I, no, I don't. I built my own assessment of how great this man is. And the NFL, when he walks away from the game, people are going to realize how important he was to the NFL when he walks away. The same as how the same thing, same thing, same, same thing they say about Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant and all. Players. Tom Brady is one of those players that when he's all said and done, when he's walking, when he's putting on. Jacking it in can, and we going back and looking at his. Yeah, of course, of course, of, of course. Saying, I'm not saying I'm not we really did not a Hall of Fame. This, this guy was great. I don't think I don't think none of us are saying not a Hall of Fame. But well, what we are saying is, if he didn't have Bill Belichick, right, he wouldn't be the player he was right now. And if he was, coulda woulda. No, 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 no. Listen, if ifs was a if ifs was a fifth, we'll all be drunk every day. If ifs was a fifth, we'll be drunk. I don't want to hear about if we should have we should have beat the Patriots in the Super Bowl, but we didn't. I don't want to hear that, bro. There are no the man gives you results. Listen, you you just giving that man way too much credit. That's it, point blank, period. Yeah, yeah, he he showed me that once. He showed me that once he can't see that, like like I'm saying, with, with, with the Patriots defense. For the last 15, 20 years, this man been there. This man had a top five, de- top ten defense every year. Is you know that, what I'm saying? Is that <laughs> Tom Brady orchestrated the defense, or is that the Romeo Cornell behind the defense and Bill Belichick? Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's Bill Belichick behind the defense. What are you Tom talking Brady. about? What are you talking? All right, that ain't got nothing to do with Tom Brady, though. That that has nothing to do with Tom Brady. His, okay. his, his defense went out there and did what they were supposed to do: protect the lead. What are you talking about? Right. What are you talking about? That's what that's a defensive job. The defensive role is to go out there and keep the opponent from putting up. It's, it's real funny that's how exactly. you can. Spend, it's real funny how you can spin things in the way you want to spin them. But when we try to make a point, you no, don't. It's hear. just facts. It's the, it's just facts. I'm giving you facts. The defensive job is to go out there to prevent the offense from putting points in the. Board. Obviously. That's just like people who want to. That's just like people who want to knock Floyd Mayweather for being a technical fighter. They call him a rabbit. All he does is run. How is he a runner? I, 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 How is he a runner? Because he don't want to get. He don't want to get it. He don't want to. Well, I don't. I, that's that's a totally different argument for another day. Because I don't believe that. I mean, to to me, the man is the best best defensive fighter ever, and 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 best pure boxer. When it comes to pure boxing, he's he, you know he's the best. So I I, I don't. I, I'm not one of those people. But you understand what you understand what the the comparisons are being made at. The comparisons are being made to you can't knock a person for what they they're what they're being what they're doing what they're being. See, here's the, you can't. We knock never we person. never we, we never said he wasn't a hall of famer. That's what I'm saying. You you like I said you spin this in the no. way you you keep spinning with what I'm saying. If Bill Belichick, if Bill Belichick. If Bill Belichick won this and Bill Belichick won that, fact of the matter is, before Bill Belichick got Tom Brady, Bill Belichick was trash. He was trash. He got ran out of he got ran out of every team that he was on. The with the Cleveland Browns, he left about it that he was gone. He was garbage. He took over for Bill Parcells with the New England Patriots when Parcells used to coach that. When he had Curtis Martin, Drew Bledsoe, Terry Glenn, Ben Coates, and all that stuff. See, I'm a, see. This is before Tom Brady even got there. Dude, we already know that. We already know this though. I mean, he had a he had a guard. He, listen, a he, listen, listen. He had a guard with that back in Drew Bledsoe. He he made the switch and things changed. All right, so <laughs> it was trash. You know, right. So I mean, like, back, back, so, okay. So I'm gonna say the gamble paid off. I'm gonna say the gamble paid off. The gamble paid off great for them. Of course it paid off. It obviously paid off. Yeah, the man got six Super Bowls. My thing is, but, right. but, but but he ain't the best quarterback ever. My thing is, yeah, he is the best quarterback ever. To everything that has happened around this man in a position he was put in. What, that, what, what, what you, you, you talking about all the off the field stuff that's going on that far more players have done worse than Tom Brady's no, ever done? I ain't, talk, I ain't talking about off the field, bro. That's, that affects on the field. You should, like, the Patriots sit there and record people plays and stuff like that. You tell me that's it not. It started that with the Rams. It started with the Rams. Did we forget? Right. We were the first and team the they recorded. Rams had the greatest offense of all time. It started with us. And this is coming from a Rams fan. At the end of the day, I don't care what the Patriots did to do to get whatever they had. Oh, you're, you a fan, you're a Patriots fan. You're a Patriots fan. You're a Rams fan. I am confused. I'm, I'm a been Rams trying fan. To figure that out for a while. I'm a Rams fan. I'm a diehard Rams fan. But I'm not going to sit up here and keep blaming this and this and that for the 
other people. I'm not finna do that. Well, how, well okay, well, back to my points earlier. How or, can or you not? Or we could just be like Mike Tomlin. Or we could just be like Mike Tomlin and just cheat and just kick trip players while they're running down the middle of the field just stick our foot side there <laughs> and trip people. We could just do that. Let's just do that. Let's, let's, just, just, let's just do that. Let's just make it blatantly obvious. I can't, that I can't really cheat. defend him on that one because you should have been aware. <laughs> Right. Right. Obviously, you gotta look at the field. Not, not the you should highlight stick. You should highlight it. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, obviously. No, listen. That's this, a this, is, this is That's what a it little comes. different, Banks. That's plain and simple. You can see that. You can see the guy stepped on the field. Now, when it comes to doing stuff behind the scenes that can't, ain't nobody gonna catch. Like. You recording my whole script for the game, or you flattening some damn balls in a locker room to make your quarterback throw it harder, whatever the heck happened, or like like you paying the refs. I don't know if they did that or not, but it sure does seem like it. Because every but time, that, but... every time it's a clutch call, the Patriots always get it, bro. You don't, you don't think that's just a little Man. ironic? I, I listen. I thought it was ironic that that uh, Pete Carroll would run the ball, would pass the ball in the one yard line to get it intercepted, and then for some reason somehow people ended up blaming Tom Brady for that one. No, and nobody. Tom Brady was on the side. No, 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 no nobody, nobody, Brady, nobody, nobody was blaming surprised. Brady, but you can't nobody give Brady the credit for that either. You'd be surprised. You'd you be surprised. Get... He was handed, like I told you earlier, he was handed a Super Bowl, like he was handed a, yeah. a cup. He was handed by four by four Super Bowls. He was handed them Super Bowls. Let's not forget how the, the the Patriots defense actually let them down that game, and let the Seattle Seahawks come down the field and, and uh, with that uh with that catch. Oh, that was that not Tyler Lockett that caught that ball. The that Patriots was the defense big fell asleep. Uh, and, and what's the what's the, the receiver that Thank everybody you. was saying? Thank you. He ain't, Chris he ain't even lead no more. Like that. Yeah, he ain't even the lead no more. He ain't even the lead no more. He had that one Super Bowl. He showed out. And he ain't even the lead anymore. You can't even talk about him. Where is he at now? Nowhere. Regardless, Nowhere found. regardless, Banks, you cannot give Tom Brady the credit for Malcolm Butler, but that's a team right. effort. The whole team won the Super Bowl. Tom Brady is claiming that shit. I mean, I'm sorry. Tom, you letting Tom Brady claim the whole Super Bowl because Pete Carroll wanted to be an idiot, and Malcolm Butler stepped up. Right, but who walked away with the MVP? Oh my God! I think Malcolm Butler got it. <laughs> Malcolm Butler get it? No, he did not. Tom Brady got the MVP. Play. Why did he get it? He didn't do nothing. And half the other. How did he not? He got it. He bought out. Oh, so okay. He had the game winning drive. Listen, the okay. other he threw the touchdown pass to put the Patriots up. Oh man, you know what? He probably had the greatest kick of all time. I just thought about that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Adam Vinatieri, the most clutch kicker of all time, who gave Tom Brady oh. three Super Bowls. He I gave him that. a lot of Super Bowls. He gave him. I give you that. I give you that. Adam Adam Vinatieri gave Tom Brady three Super Bowls. Wow, I, I just give you that. realized it. Vinatieri actually won the Super Bowls. That's the goat. That's the real goat. He the goat Vin- kicker. Vinatieri won him a couple of Super Bowls, man. <laughs> That's the right. real goat, right there, Vinatieri. I keep telling you, listen, he's been handed some Super Bowls. See, that's why I say this man's he's overrated. He's been handed them, and he's been, and he's been winning, and he's won them. No, bro, he didn't win it. I'm, okay, I'm sorry. Today, so Tom Brady didn't win not one Super Bowl for his team. Not one of them. Not one. Vinatieri and the defense, Not one, but baby. no, no. He didn't win not one Super Bowl for his team. Not one of them. Not one single Super Bowl he won. He's been to six. He's been to six. I, I get him one. The one with the Falcons, probably, maybe. That's probably the only one I can okay. really give him. I don't even know if okay, I can give him that because I think the Falcons just they they choke, man. They just third third quarter. You up twenty five points. All you gotta do is run the damn ball, man. Just run the ball. But they did. But they didn't. Right. Right. So you you, you, give them, them. you you giving them opportunity. I mean, you, the coach that coach should be fired. Like seriously, I'd have fired. I just fired him. Still. <laughs> he should have been you fired. Still, right you still got to run off. Fired. You still got to run off what twenty five on that. So you got to do that. And I, I don't know. I, that's the one I would give him. But what you say uh, hurts. You know, I just, I, I just think the man. Like I said, he's a, he's, he's a good quarterback. I just can't say he's the goat, man. Nope. I just, I just, I just can't give him the goat, man. Because listen, so who's I'll your see... goat title? Who's your goat? Who's your goat? Who's your greatest quarterback of all time? To you? Who's your goat? 
Fun Who's your goat and why? I'm gonna give you the floor. I'm gonna give you the floor. Who's your goat and why? The floor you... is yours. <sighs> okay. I, if you say I, some nonsense here, if you say some nonsense, hey, right and this ain't no nonsense because I'm gonna give, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm give you, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you the same response I gave you at, at the beginning of the show. When you play, you playing in different arrows, man. You, it's hard to compare arrows and 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 and, 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 and you know how the game was played. It, it really is. Hey, but this, 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 nah, 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 respect, nah, 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 I would tell you this, I would tell you this, Payne Man is a better quarterback than him. So Tom Brady, so Payne Man is your GOAT? He's a better quarterback than Tom Brady. Is Payne Man your GOAT, yes or no? I just, I just answered the question. I don't know what you want me to say. He's a better quarterback than no, Tom Brady. If, 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 if no, Tom Brady is the goat to you, is he listen, listen. If he, if, if Tom Brady is the goat to you, I'm telling you, Tom, uh, um, Peyton Penny, Peyton Manning is better than Tom Brady. Peyton That's Penny. what I'm telling you. <laughs> Who's Peyton Penny? <laughs> I'm telling you that. Peyton Manning is better. Is better than Tom Brady. Better than Tom Brady. Okay, tell me why. Have you watched um uh, Peyton play? Okay, I watched the play, but you, I want to, I want to, I honestly, truthfully want to hear your reasons as to why Peyton Manning is better than Tom Brady. In uh, first of all, he knows the game better than uh, um, Brady. You know what I'm saying? He, 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 listen, I just told you, Brady is a product of the system. There's, there's a system that is ran. That he, so there was no he, system he, ran for Peyton. Hold on a minute. No, 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 no. There's right, no. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Listen, listen. Peyton man. Peyton is the system. Peyton, Peyton gets a lot of scrimmage. See what he sees. Dictate coverages. Dictates a uh, 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 so pass that's not block. A system? Di- that's that's not a system. He's running. That's his system, though. That's that's something that he but, that, he he's doing that. The, the so coaches are not Tom doing Brady that. Not get that same. How does Tom Brady not get that same amount of I, let me tell you consideration? How. Let me tell you how. How when Tom Brady? How when Tom Brady gets hurt for the year? What what the Patriots did without him? They were eleven and five. You got production. Like I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell you like, yeah, I'm gonna tell you, no, tell you like I told finish, you before. Let me finish, bro. Let me. Did finish. it win a let Super Bowl for them? Did it win let, a Super Bowl? Regardless, you got production. You got a playoff record. When Peyton did Manning it win a Super Bowl? And if the when, system was so easy, why did Mac Matt Castle translate and, and, and be the, the bomb when he left New England? Why? Because because they if, love if the system was Tom that easy Brady to copy, so it was that easy to follow. Because why? because everybody loves Brady. Remember, remember Jacoby Brisket. Remember, he had his little moment, a moment of glory. What happened to him? Listen, Jacoby Brissett, Brissett, Brisket, <laughs> what happened Brissett, to him? whatever, <laughs> Brisket, burnt. It don't matter. <laughs> what happened to him? I mean, once he left, once anybody leave New England, the same thing that's going to happen to Tom Brady if he leaves New England, and you can bet that, you can stamp that. I bet he you never leave. Wanna know why? Because Tom Brady's gonna retire in New England Patriots. We'll never know. That. No, he won't. Smart. No, he won't. No, he so wait, won't. Wait, wait, wait. I think. What's, I think, this, what's this nonsense? The boy is talking about. Tom Brady's not retiring. I think. He, why would he not retire a Patriot? No, I, I don't think so. This might be his last year. Okay, he might so want to play till he's forty-five. The but no, I think the Patriots will end up having to let him go. Based off you, the contract you he just signed. You watch your mind if you think they're gonna New England Patriots are gonna walk away from Tom Brady. You watch your mind. You look at the contract that he signed. He t- he signed a two year contract extension uh, uh, worth seventy million. In the, as the NFL. Tom Brady has never been the highest paid quarterback in NFL ever, but Peyton Manning has it, for the smaller why. results. I wonder, I, I wonder why too, because he wasn't giving you no results. He wasn't giving you. Results. He won't give you Tom Brady results. No, maybe he won't give you Tom Brady results. But how you gonna say he wasn't giving results and he's in the playoffs every every year? I mean, he was getting put out. He was getting playoffs every year, getting put out. Right, because because he had to do it by himself. As I said, he had to do it by himself, man. He was by himself pretty much, man. Nine. How did okay? So how how was he by himself in the playoffs, but he not by himself in the regular season? How? From, I just told you, when you get to the playoffs, you're playing better teams. You wish, listen, oh, man, once so you get to the playoffs, you're playing, you playing season, better they teams. Won that. Y'all need to stop, man. Y'all need to stop. <laughs> Another thing. Y'all need to stop. Y'all need to stop. Y'all need Another to stop, thing. Man. Another thing. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Have you ever noticed the teams that, that goes to the playoffs? 
Just, just, just take a look at all the quarterbacks of all those teams that go to the playoffs. Okay, you have quarterbacks that are in the top ten that pretty much go to the playoffs every year. Now, the X factor then becomes decision making of that quarterback and his defense. Most likely, whoever had the best defense is going to win most of those games. <laughs> Okay, so if that if that's the case, then why how come the Baltimore Ravens didn't beat the Patriots? They beat them that one year. Um, Joe Flacco t- is a actually, hold on a minute, man. Listen, man. Joe Flacco really messed up a lot of the Ravens. See, the Ravens are supposed to have more than uh, uh they, they could have more Super Bowls. Joe Flacco was not a good quarterback. Yeah, and true. that's why the Steelers and that's why that's why most times the Steelers will always beat the Ravens because because of Joe Flacco. Seriously. Because both of those defenses were, there was a hell of a defenses for about 10 years there. Right. Or even more. Right. Yeah, more than that. But a right. couple times, a couple so, times. So it, 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 it always boils down to the quarterback. Ben was a better quarterback than the Flacco. Simple as that. Hey, honestly, I'm going to be real with y'all. A couple times, maybe two or three times, I actually sat down and watched the refs beat Baltimore when it came to the Patriots. I ain't even making this up. The refs beat Baltimore. I think. I think. I think. The. I think. When it comes to Baltimore, Baltimore beat themselves. It came down to that one drop pass by. Um, he used to play for the Buffalo Bills. What was that receiver's Lee name? Lee Evans. He was very, very. What's his name? Lee Evans. Yeah, Lee Evans. He dropped a touchdown pass. It was a game winner. He dropped that. That's on the Ravens. They and shot, then yes, they shot the kicker the missed the game winner. And Mr. Gamer, oh man! But like I said, for for some reason, when it comes to the Patriots, man, it seems like they get all the calls. And it doesn't matter who they. Play. I don't know. It, it, does, it doesn't it's matter who they play. Crazy. It could be the Steelers. It could be the Ravens. It could be the Colts. It just always falls in their fight, like, man. These those three teams I, I, for a whole all decade. I know is, all I know is the last three times in the week the Patriots has played the ball. December twenty third, December twenty second, twenty thirteen. They beat the Ravens forty one to seven. January tenth, twenty fifteen. Playoff game thirty five thirty one. December twelfth, twenty sixteen. Thirty to twenty three. That's the last three times that they played. And before the Ravens beat them twice. 31 30 by one. I remember that game. And twenty eight to thirteen. So. That's just more more evidence that Tom Brady is is, is great, man. This is more and more evidence. <laughs> this is the Baltimore yeah, Ravens oh, defense yeah. that y'all talk about. Oh, he's shredding them. And the the one common denominator that I see there is there's thirty points on the board each game, thirty or more, thirty or more. And you know what? So I, do I need to bring the statistics out against the the, the, the Pittsburgh Steelers too? Because everybody yeah, just talk, they, talk the, about the that Steelers, the Steelers. The Steelers was touted to be the replacement team, the replacement team to take over. Who's that team that's going to take over and, and, and dominate that and knock the Patriots off their high horse? Oh, it's, it's the Pittsburgh Steelers. And Pittsburgh out there fighting themselves. Not to say they couldn't beat the Patriots. I'm not going to say that at all. I'm not going to say that. They could have beat the Patriots, especially what that was last year, the year before last. No, they beat them last year. Uh, right. Uh, they they, they should have won, but they didn't. Pittsburgh beat themselves. I watched Pittsburgh. Now that game, I watched Pittsburgh beat themselves. But what, what it comes down to is, you get Bel- you get Belichick out there, you get Tom Brady, you give Tom Brady Thank time you. to study you. Thank you. It's a wrap. Thank you for saying what you just said. Belichick, you get Belichick out there. Have you ever noticed anybody else? Listen, have you ever noticed that's the first time he gave Belichick any any kind of problem? I've never heard him say anything about. I've always been Belichick. He just always he just said he just said you. I've always been Belichick. Belichick's from. He's the greatest coach ever. But I'm just gonna. He's a great coach. It's a great coach. It's a great coach. Coach and a great player. It's kind of like when Bill Walsh had Joe Montana. Yeah, it worked the same way. A lot of people say Joe Montana won nothing to, without Bill Walsh, and he wasn't. He, he, he watched, has a little bit of success. I don't, have this, I don't have this to a lot, a lot of people. I watch, I watch Joe, and I watch Bill Walsh. It's pretty much the same system, man. It was a West Coast offense. 
they they he understood the West Coast offense to a T, and he knew where to go with the ball. Outside of that, he had a great defense as well. It's like the same, right? The but, same situation. but why nobody knocking Joe Montana for his system? They invented the West Coast, but nobody, nobody knocking Joe Montana. Nobody's knocking him at all. All you hear is about how great he was. Well, shit, he had not the, the fact that he was in that West he Coast. He had the system. best receiver ever too. So I mean, I, I, I mean, right? I we had it. those Forty Nine er teams. Those Forty Nine er teams in the eighties were bar none better than every team out there. And when you, when you go back and look at them teams and the. Players the 49ers had on those teams, it wasn't even close. Maybe this, like, how you how do you compete against Roger Craig, Joe Montana, Dwight Clark, Jerry Rice? How how do you go against that with 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 well, Ronnie Lott and say? I, I hear you say Dwight Clark. Dwight, you know. Listen, I, listen. I, I watched them teams, you know, and I and like I said, I watched Tom Rathman and Roger Craig and and uh, 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 Jerry Rice and uh, uh, Taylor. He had Taylor on the other side. Them boys was unstoppable. They was literally unstoppable. And, and Rice and Rice was just he was pretty much un- unguardable. So Joe had a great team too. His defense was serious too. He had, yeah, he had, he had running a lot. Yeah, he had some Hall of Famers on that defense as well. You know what I'm saying? And and that's why I'm telling you, it's like the same situation with the uh, uh, Patriots. You had a great coach that ran a great system and a quarterback that understood the system and the defenses was great. It was a great situation for, for them to be in, and they understood it. Now, yeah, with all that being- I give them credit. I, like I said, I still give Tom and, and Montana credit because you still got to throw the damn ball. You still got to throw the ball. You still got to make a decision. You still got to throw the ball. And he don't make mistakes. You know, uh, what, 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 back to my point, the, the Patriots don't make mistakes. They're not going to, I keep telling you, right. they are a very right. disciplined team. They are a disciplined right. team. Belichick disciplined. is yeah. the greatest coach ever. He's a disciplined yeah. They will not beat themselves. They Matter of fact, their whole game plan is for you to make a mistake for them to beat you. <laughs> right, exactly. Right. I agree with you on that. I agree. I agree. So once, so, so once, so you, divorce, got, once you got a team like that, once you got a team that's built like that, they, they, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's really, it's, you always going to be in the game. It's difficult to just, to really just come out and beat them because they're not going to beat themselves. And this is, they already got the advantage mentally. Yeah. It's a they got the advantage mentally when right. they come out there. Right. It's the team, not Tom Brady. That's himself. what I'm talking that, 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 That's my point right there. That's yeah, Tom Brady. Oh, God. I don't see the I'm team so the glad we we had the, the opportunity the to banners. get this off of our chest. I yeah, man. I don't see the team with the MVP banners. <laughs> hey, man. Thank y'all for listening. Uh, uh, We're gonna try to get through the line. Thanks. <laughs> hey, Tom Brady. Yeah, so uh, uh, before, before we wrap it up, yeah, you know I gotta give it. Y'all gotta give my player. You gotta give my player a shout out. Tom Brady, man. If you're listening to this, this your boy Banks, man. If this podcast happens to fall in your ears. Just remember, man, I'm a big fan of you, man. You're the best quarterback to ever play the game of football. All those haters doubted you when you came out of the draft and thought you weren't nothing in the sixth round. And you came out ever since then, and you've showed everybody how good it is to be you. People hate on you. They they try to they try to to knock you try to knock your legacy with the flake gate and this gate and tuck gate and this that and that, that at the end of the day this man walked away with six Super Bowl rings. You must be on the payroll. Six man. of them. <laughs> no, I'm just a Tom Brady I'm a Tom Brady fan. Oh, yeah, they Tom they Brady slide himself. They most I definitely slide himself. He ain't give me none of it yet. Maybe I'll be a believer too. Super Bowl win this year, that'd be great. You know how to be no. us this year. Just let it happen. Let it happen. You know how to be so great. Let it happen. Let us win. Cause I know Tom Brady gonna listen to this one. He gonna listen to this. He gonna listen to this one. Brady. He gonna see I had his back the whole Brady. time. You all right, Brady? But uh, I think if you was put on a different team, you get different results. My point exactly. I, I, I can't wait. I hope I that happens too. Oh my Thursday God! I can't. I hope well, that I, happens. I just, I just really wish he could have went to the Dolphins. Pitt, man. Because I, I just, Pittsburgh just, had great defenses. Tom Brady probably would have went one with Pittsburgh. Devore, I don't even talk about the Dolphins at all. Tom Brady would never step up. 
He 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 just he he come let us to, to have a, a vacation and then leave. Oh yeah, that have been broke his neck at in Miami. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I just yeah. wish he could have been to the Dolphins. I just wish he would have got, you know, just been to the Dolphins, man, and, you know, we wouldn't even be having a conversation. <laughs> Legend. So, the boy, you going to wrap it up for us, man? I got you. <laughs> like I said, it felt so good to get this off of my chest, like, literally, with this podcast for almost an hour. We were, like, 10 minutes short of an hour. So, we tried to bring in Hurts. In for that extra five power to convince Banks, but that head that head of Banks is hard as I don't know what, man. I'm telling you, man. But, um, I ain't bending, bro. I ain't bending. It ain't happening. <laughs> ain't bending. The greatest quarterback of all time is Tom Brady. And when you start watching football again, I've been watching football for a long time. Man. That's I, no, that's not a time frame. How long you been watching football? Is, oh man, I would probably say twenty plus years. 20 plus years. Yeah, definitely. I'm 31 now. So, yeah, I probably longer than that. Maybe longer than 20 plus years because I'm 31. That would have been, I would have been, what, 11 at that time? Nah, it's definitely longer than that. I watched the football for a long time. And I've seen some of the greatest players play the position. i seen the Troy Aitmans, the Dan Marinos, who I still say Dan Marino was the best quarterback of all time. And he would have been the best quarterback of all time. He just had one Super Bowl ring. But John Elways, the Steve Youngs, the so Troy Aitmans. So you're off Super Bowl, uh, obviously. You're basing your, you're basing your assessment off Super Bowl because you said if Dan Marino would have had one, he would have been the greatest of all time. Now, how you come to that? No, I'm going to just... I'm not basing it on Super Bowls. What I'm saying is, is I feel like that's the, the Super Bowl <laughs> you thing. You said if he would have won one, if he'd have won one, he'd be considered. Yeah, if he'd have just won time. one. But I'm no, but yeah, he he he, he you, you're right. But that that's six, that's six <laughs> compared to that to nothing. I can't go no, I can't go to war with that. I can't go to war with Dan Marino with no no rings. You right. You're hundred percent right. Yeah, because statistically, statistically, he wasn't no better quarterback than, uh, than, than Dan Marino. Statistically. Man, that man was a legend. If you put Dan Reno on the Patriots, man, for for those twenty years, man, what you what, what you think happened? Probably twenty first. Oh, I, I think he yeah. got a ring. He got a ring. He, he, he got, got a ring. Oh, you got the eight. Patriots. You said he got a ring. Yeah, he got a couple of them. Yeah, he got a couple of them. I'm a I'm a big Dan Marino. Dan Marino a lot. I, I'm a big fan of Dan Marino. Dan Marino was a legend. Definitely was. I think Dan Marino was better than John Elway. But he just didn't get, he didn't get the luck that John, that John that we got in the later. Oh, some, the later his, his some like Peyton Manning didn't get the luck that Tom Brady got. Right. Uh, no, it's kind of hard not having luck when you're the first round pick of the draft. What are you talking about? And you put on a trash team. That's what usually happens to the first round pick of the draft. You get put on a trash team because that team didn't. Peyton win Manning no was games. trash one year his entire life, entire career. Because one. he carried the team. He carried, he carried the team, dude. Like seriously. He been carrying that team since he got since the time he got there. That's a matter. But so that, so we're not going. So, no, you know what? So Tom, so Peyton Manning didn't have better players than Tom Brady. I take that back. Peyton, his first matter of fact, uh, that first year was was uh, ninety nine when he had uh, Edwin James. He had he had James. He had Marvin Harris. Right. So right. Right. So so Tom. So Peyton Manning didn't have a better play, better offensive roster than Tom Brady. He, he, he still didn't have. Yes. He, he still didn't have on a defense though. On offense, okay. yes. Banks, listen, if you had to go out there and just throw the ball with no defense out there, Peyton Manning would beat him every time. Exactly. <laughs> I ain't trying to hit nothing. Tom Brady, Peyton exactly. Manning went against the Chicago Bears in the Super Bowl. Should t- Peyton Manning went against the Rex Grossman led? Qu- <laughs> he went against Rex Grossman in the Super Bowl. Shut up. And Peyton I want to hear that. that. And showed that defense uh, rose up. Peyton had a good game. Oh, uh, God. Right. He went against Rex Grossman, cuz. I ain't nobody trying to hear that. Brian Urlacher in his prime. They had like a goal. Yeah. Game. Yeah. All right, man. Uh, okay. All right. The Bears, hold on. The, the Bears had like the top three defense in the league then, right? Right. Yes, well, you see what happened a very, the very, a couple years later when he actually went against the went, went, went to Drew Brees and the Saints. You see what happened when he went against a better quarterback. Well, the, yeah, the, Saints defense, the, the Saints defense came up with plays against Peyton Manning. Yeah, but that's not act like Drew Brees didn't lead them that led that charge. Drew Brees tore the coach no. apart. But, but see, I like Drew Brees is not a great quarterback either. I keep telling you, if Brees is over at the but that's, the but that's the point I'm making about Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning outshines teams with no 
when there's another when there's another legend sitting across the field for him, he don't show up. That's the point I'm making. It's really hard. We got to do everything yourself, man. The man never had a defense. Uh, here we go. At, at least All the Saints right. had a defense. The Saints had a, a great yeah. defense this, that year. Yeah, Bill and the boys was balling, man. Come on, man. Come on. You talking about the head hunters? You talking about the, the, you talking about the, the bounty hunters? Yes, yes. They yeah, yeah, had bounty hunters. Yeah. Yeah. Bounty okay, hunters. hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Let me make a point right quick. It was bounty hunting, right? I don't, and, I don't see, Payton I don't see West bringing that up. The whole year, right? I don't see West. Sean Payton got suspended for a whole year, right? He was out there targeting players. Yeah, Wes. Are you bringing Sean that up? Payton okay, you got the playing players, the tape players out there for a year, right? All them boys got punished. Yeah. So what happened to Belichick or Brady when all this stuff went down? All they cheated, all they cheated went down. Nothing and happened. They cheated, and they cheated more than once, and nothing happened. You ain't got nothing to say on that. Case closed. All right, y'all. <laughs> right. <laughs> Right. <laughs> right. All right. So again, everybody got all this off our chest. So in the future, this will not be dis- well. This won't be discussed as hard as it was discussed this morning. But uh, it hurts. Yeah. It, it was. It was a pleasure, man. It was a pleasure, man. I felt like this group therapy session has really helped Banks make a make a huge step in the right direction. Of his of his of his greatest of all time knowledge. Uh no. Hey, yeah, it hurts, man. <laughs> Pre- appreciate it, man. Hopefully this is Talk uh, about it. It's my pleasure. Hopefully this is a stepping stone to us get more guests on and opening up more doors for us. So appreciate you coming out. Always, man. I am actually looking forward to the next session, man. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, just 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 keep just keep Tom Brady name at your mouth, plug. Come on, Tom Brady told me to tell you that. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad that you finally admitted, man, that he told you something. So obviously you are in the play role. So you definitely in the play role. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this this is the die for debate team, and we out. <laughs> as a matter of fact, just just make sure his jocks his jock straps are uh, washing over your feet. <laughs> and on that note, man, everybody have a blessed night. <laughs>